Rambler, and today we're talking about how to get volume into thin fine hair. If you want to learn how to take your hair from flat to fat without back coming or teasing, then keep watching. So getting more volume in your hair starts in the shower and there are a couple of shampoos and conditioners I like to use to get more volume in my hair. I love this volumizing shampoo by Kevin Murphy, the uh, plumping wash and the plumping rinse. And I love to use it because it always gives me such big volume and it smells so good. But I've got a problem, which is that I live in Nashville, which has really hard water with a lot of mineral content. And if I used to just that shampoo, then my hair would start getting weighed down by all the minerals in the water and it looks dirty and like lanky and icky. So every other shampoo, I actually use this, Malibu Hard Water Wellness Shampoo and Conditioner. This cleans my hair from any of the minerals that might be staying in it from the water, and it makes my hair all soft and shiny, gets out any additional product. Essentially, it's a clarifying shampoo, but I need something that's gonna really get those minerals out to keep my hair looking fresh. So when I dry my hair, I add a few products to help pump up the volume. I'm sorry, it had to be said. But I can't put too many in because too many products will weigh my hair down and make it look all limp. So I only use two, this Bumble and Bumble Thickening Spray. It acts as a heat protectant, it helps detangle my hair, and it kind of makes every individual hair a little thicker. So I already have more volume even just from using this. And all I really do is just spray it on, making sure that I really get it in there. And one thing that I do like about this is with a lot of other conditioning sprays or heat protectants, using too much weighs my hair down, but it seems like I can never use too much of this. And then I'm just gonna give it a quick comb out to make sure that everything's evenly distributed. All right, and now I'm gonna share with you my secret weapon, my favorite product for getting more volume in the hair, and that's this, the Aquage Uplifting Foam. It comes, it's like a mousse, but it has like this little tip on it. So all you need to do is just put a line of it down your hair, no mess. And then what I'm gonna do is take a comb and part the hair over to the side. It doesn't have to be perfect or neat or anything like that. And do the same thing here. And I'm even going to do one more to just really get these roots blasted. We are back to the 80s here. Oh, it's not going to look quite like that, but pretty good. And then I'll come over to the other side. And one more here. And then I'm going to add a couple at the crown just by lifting it up. I learned about this product from Kate at the Small Things blog. She has a lot of good recommendations for hairstyles and getting more volume, so check her out if you haven't before. And then once I get the aquage in, all I'm doing is just kind of going in underneath and really scrunching it in so that I'm covering all my roots. And this is another product that you really can't use too much of. It's not gonna weigh your hair down ever. And the more you use, the more volume you get. So sometimes I like to, if I really have something that I want to have like big hair for, I'll even add more than that. So those are the only products I use in my hair before I blow it dry. And when I blow it dry, my new favorite toy is this, the Revlon One Step Volumizer Plus. It's the newest version of the Revlon One Step Volumizer that came out like a couple of years ago, and I really like it better. It's got a smaller head 
on the brush so I can really get in there uh, and lift my roots. And I know some people had a lot of complaints before about how the, the brush was too big. You can also remove the brush so you can use the hair dryer just to blow it dry before you start styling. And it comes with a high, medium, low, and cool setting. And the previous one only just came with a high and a low setting. So I always felt like it was either too hot or not hot enough. So I really like using the medium. However, I'm going to start out on the high setting. And what I'm going to do is just flip my hair over and blow it dry until it's about 80% dry. Okay, so once my hair is about 80% dry, I flip it back up and now I'm going to concentrate on getting volume in the crown and the roots. And I'm going to do that by first going in at the crown and just kind of drying it like you would a regular round brush routine. And then for my bangs, I part them on this side. So I'm going to really dry them going down and over to this side. And that's going to add so much volume when I put it back. And to do this, I'm going to put it with a hair dryer on medium. And so now that my hair is about 90% dry, I'd say, I'm gonna put it on low and focus on flipping the ends under and really just kind of styling it the way I wanna wear it. Okay, so this is what my hair looks like after I've blown it dry, and it's great for every day. I really kind of like it, but there are times when I really want to take the volume up a notch, and when that happens, I turn to our old buddy, the Hot Roller. The Hot Roller from the 80s. Still has a lot of life in him, still has a lot of use, just like us, right? And so... What I like to do is let these get pretty hot. I'll plug them in for about five minutes and then I'm going to show you how I curl my hair to get volume. But before I do that, I want to talk about one common technique for getting volume and that is back combing, where you just take a little section of hair underneath the bottom section and tease it so that it has more volume. I don't like doing that on my hair because it is so fine and thin. It gets tangled really easily and then when I try to brush it out, they break. I get a lot of breakage. Um, it just doesn't look good. It's not good for my hair. So I try to avoid back combing and teasing every chance I can. And the hot rollers work great. What I need to do is I'm going to start with the crown and I'm going to take a section that's just a little bit smaller. Than uh, the roller itself. And here's the secret weapon. I'm going to spray this with a light hold hairspray at the root. And that's going to help hold it all in. And what I'm going to do is position the curler right here and then wrap it around. That's gonna give me a lot of volume without a lot of curl. Sometimes I want curl and sometimes I don't, right? 
and then I'm just going to go around the crown of my head with these larger rollers and do the same thing. Once I've got those in, I'm going to do the rest of my hair at the top with the smaller curlers. And then I'm just going to go down around my head like this. I'm going to leave these in for at least 30 minutes until they're completely cool to the touch and only then am I going to bring them down. So I'll see you in a few. Okay, my hair is cool. I've been sitting for about 20 minutes. And now I'm going to start with just taking down the curlers. And as I do, of course, I'm working really hard to not pull on them or loosen the curl. I'm going to do that afterwards. And then I'm going to loosen it all up by brushing it out just a tad. And here's the final look. Thick voluminous, not too curly, but with a lot of body. You really can't beat it. If I wanted to even take it a little bit further, in this case I would, I think I will even, back home the crown, but only the crown. Just a teeny bit. And I'm gonna do that simply by pushing the hair down and then that's gonna give me a lot of volume at the crown but I don't have to back home anywhere else and that's it I hope you enjoyed this and found it valuable I love sharing things with you guys if you've got any questions or tips of your own please share them in the comments I love hearing from you and I'll see you soon